Motown the Musical is back home in Detroit and rocking the Fisher Theater uh, through April 30th. It's the true story of the American dream following the journey of Barry Gordy from a featherweight boxer to a heavyweight in the music industry. Chester Gregory here now. He plays the legendary leader of Motown, Barry Gordy. So good to have you with us. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. You yeah. played this role on Broadway as well, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah you're still pinching yourself. I mean, tell me about <laughs> playing this role. This is a dream come true, especially to be here in Detroit, right. the hometown of Motor City and Barry Gordy and Jackie Wilson, and the list goes on right. and on. And, uh, you know, I remember just being a fan of the show, and now here I am, here in Detroit, working with Mr. Barry Gordy himself, celebrating this legacy. I mean, I pinch myself every day. I bet you do. <laughs> yeah. tell, tell people who come to watch this, because you're here through April 30th, as we mentioned, what you can expect. Walk us through the kind of the, the show here. Well, it goes through uh, sort of like a 25-year span. Uh, so we learn uh, a little bit deeper about how Barry Gordy had the vision to uh, bring the Motown legacy into existence yeah. uh, when he was age 29. And he felt like a failure in life at 29, right? <laughs> so, Hard and to then uh, we go through a 25 year period when he starts launching all these hits and superstars and eventually leading up to the Motown celebration, uh, Motown 25. Do they have to add a little gray hair in your hair as they age you on stage <laughs> or? Uh... Yeah, yeah, we have wigs and magic oh, and do. theater magic to make well, all I that would, happen. Yeah. I would think so, right? <laughs> is, there, is there a favorite part for you in all of this? I love, uh, man, I mean, the show, you can't get a better catalog. This has the yeah, best catalog right. in the world. Uh, but two moments I love. I love seeing the song To Be Loved, uh, which is uh, Barry Gordy wrote for Jackie Wilson, which is technically not a Motown song. It's a Brunswick song. Okay. Uh, and then there's a new song in the show called Can I Close the Door on Love? And that's sort of at a turning point in Barry Gordy's life when he feels betrayed by the people he helped propel to superstardom. And so I love singing those two moments because they're, they're about two critical moments in his life. You know, what's so neat yesterday, too, is we got a chance to actually talk to Barry Gordy, or Matthew Smith did, because uh -huh. of the tryouts that were happening yesterday at the Motown Museum. Uh -huh. I know you didn't get a chance, you were saying, to, to see, but look at this video here. There were hundreds of people in line wow. for their shot. I mean, do you remember back when that was you kind of standing in line hoping for a shot? I mean, it still is me sometimes. Yeah. I still have to audition for things, too. And uh, I remember, like, my audition for Mr. Gordy. Uh, really? Fortunately, because I met him about six months prior to my audition uh, from my friends Allison Sims, who currently plays Diana Ross, okay. and uh, Jeremy Muse, who currently plays Marvin Gaye. Wow. And so I got a chance to meet him and shake those nervous jitters off and focus on, a, on the work and tune in to him and hope that he liked my work, and he did. And, well, yes, yeah. he did, clearly. <laughs> clearly. It is such a pleasure to have you in town playing this role. Thank you. It is Good an honor. Good luck with it. Enjoy it. I mean, I, I know the audience has got to be going crazy last night in the preview, and it starts tonight uh -huh. through April 30th. So thank you again. Thank Break you. a leg, right? All That's right, what we're we supposed go. to yeah. say. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh